Welcome everybody to the Hot Wheels Cup Series Season 3 Premiere! It's been over two years since Season 2 came to an end and we're finally back here at the Daytona International Speedway for a 10 lap dash to kick off this 8 race season. Drivers know that keeping up on the points with such a short season is not an easy task. So they're going to have to show their strength right out of the gates here. And we have a record of 30 drivers with 14 of them being rookies. We'll take a look at who those are in a second, but first let's take a look at our drivers to watch for. First up is the 48 of Alex Bowman. He posts some fast laps of qualifying, and he'll be starting on the pole position alongside his teammate Chase Elliott. And of course we've got the 18 of Ty Gibbs making his Hot Wheels Cup Series debut. He ran some fast qualifying laps. He'll be starting third in his debut next to Kyle Larson in the five. A reminder, he is your 2021 NASCAR Cup Series champion and he has one HWCS win under his belt. A little bit deeper in the field, we got the eight of Kyle Busch starting seventh in his HWCS debut with Richard Childers Racing. A reminder, he is your defending Hot Wheels Cup Series champion and he'll be starting alongside his former teammate Martin Truex Jr. who is your season one Hot Wheels Cup champion. And a little bit deeper in the field, we've got the four of Kevin Harvick. This will be the only season he runs in the NASCAR Hot Wheels Cup Series. And he'll be starting 16th next to the six of Brad Keselowski. As now let's take a look at our full starting lineup. On row one, we've got Alex Bowman and his teammate Chase Elliott. On row two, we've got Ty Gibbs and Kyle Larson. On row three, we've got the 20 of Christopher Bell and the 95 of Casey Payne. On row four, we've got Kyle Busch and the eight, Montreal Jr. and the 19. Row 5, we've got Ty Dillon and Austin Dillon. Row 6, we've got Ryan Blaney in the 12, and Tyler Reddick in the 45. Row 7, we've got Eric Jones in the 43, and Eric Amarola in the 10. We've got Brad Kislowski and Kevin Harvick in the 8. Row 9, we've got AJ Omadunga and Ricky Paul Buster. We've got Dale Hart Jr. and Harrison Burton in row 10. Row 11, we've got William Byron and Noah Gregson. And in row 12 is Joe Logano and Austin Sindrick, Penske teammates. And in row 13 is Marco Sambos and rookie Ross Chastain. Then we've got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Daniel Suarez in row 14. And then rounding it out is Justin Haley and Danica Patrick. It's sure to be an exciting one here at Daytona Beach, Florida. Three wide, high speed, maybe even a big crash. Or maybe even an underdog in victory lane. As now the drivers fire the engines and begin to roll off. Let's take a look at our race one rundown. Like I said, it was a 10 lap race around this two and a half mile super speedway. We have 30 drivers and the number 48 car is on pole for today's race. Now the pace car is going to make the sharp left turn to pit road and the drivers are approaching the start line and the green flag is in the air. Ty just wastes no time challenging Alex Brown for the lead. He's much quicker to get there after turn two. Coming into turns three and four, the 18 takes the lead away. He's now going forward with Kyle Larson. He's made his way around Alex Brown for the second position. Then we got a big crash. Five, six, seven, eight cars involved. Yellow flag is out. Looks like Bowman, Kyle Busch, Blaney, and Dale Jr. Looks like a couple of other guys got involved, but they didn't get too much damage. Let's take a look at the replay. First real time. Oh, looks like Ty Dillon got into the back of Kyle Busch, and oh yeah, a lot of guys involved. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. You can see Ty Dillon got into the back of Kyle Busch. Alex Bowman had nowhere to go. Dale, Dale Jr. got into the back of Eric Jones, but he didn't get too much damage. He's going to have to go to pit row, but tough break for all these guys. There's Ty Dillon and Eric Jones on pit road. And Christopher Bell got a little damage as well. As we'll restart here on lap number four, Kyle Larson and Ty Gibbs will lead us to the green. The pace car makes the dive to pit road and the green flag is back in the air. Ty Gibbs loses the lead to Kyle Larson on the high, high side. As we go on board the 95 of Casey Kane, makes his way around Ty Gibbs from second position. The kick on Dawson City makes him up down. The big one strikes him on the front stretch and that'll bring out the red flag here on lap number five. We got a lot of p names involved. William Byron, Marco Sambrose, Brad Keselowski, Ty Gibbs, Austin Dillon, Martin Truex, Oh, and Chase Elliott ended up on his roof. That'll definitely bring out the red flag. Let's take a look at the replay in real time. Looks like Tyler Reddick look, got into the back of the 18, and oh yeah, chaos just ensued everywhere. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. 
Looks like the 45 of Tyler Reddick got into the back of him. Elliot had nowhere to go. Great job by Cindric to avoid it. And Harvick to... Oh, Ty Dillon got a little bit of damage. Which hopefully, it shouldn't affect him too bad. We just heard this on Tyler Reddick's team radio. Hey, man, are you alright? Yeah, I didn't hear that hard. Can you just keep an eye on my arrow? 10-4, we'll let you know if anything's off. That was 45 team radio. Looks like he got a little front arrow damage from bumping into the back of Ty Gibbs. As cleaner will begin, if the racket's just been clear, the up and the green flag will wave within a moment. Here's everyone involved in the crash. Austin Dillon, Keselowski, Amarola, and Ty Dillon got out unscathed. We'll restart, though, with three laps to go. Kane and Larson will lead us to the green. Now the pace car is diving onto pit road, and the green flag is back in the air. Larson is going to be able to clear Casey Kane for the lead. There's no corner on turn two. Cindric falls in line behind him. Oh, to the inside. Not quite going to work. Two laps to go now. Sin Larson leads with Cindric in second, and Logano in third. Kevin Harvick back on in fourth. To the inside again. Cindric not quite going to get there. Larson's going to have the advantage. Coming off the turn four to take the white flag. One lap to go. Cindric gets a great one side by side for the lead. Around turn two. Kyle Larson uh, takes the lead. Here's Cindric for the lead. And now Cindric dives to the inside. To the right by the side. It's Cindric for the win at Daytona. And a huge upset for the five of Kyle Larson. Let's take a look at how he got it done. Larson had the lead coming into turn three, but Austin Cindric got a great run on the inside. And he was able to use that momentum to beat Kyle Larson at the line in a photo finish. Classic. As this is a huge win for Austin Cindric. We're putting him in a good point position. The season is still young. Let's take a look at our point system for this season. For every race, the winner will be awarded 40 points. Second place will get 35. Third will get 34 and so on and so forth. After race 7, the top 8 in points will compete for the season title. And here's your race one results and point standings. Christopher Bell finishes third in his first start. Ty Dillon has a nice run. He finishes seventh. And Cole Custer will round to the top ten. We've got a lot of rookies here. Stenhouse, Harvick, Jones, Chastain. We got some more guys down here. Suarez finishes twelfth. Danica Patrick had a nice quiet day. She came home sixteenth. AJ Allmendinger, the last of the guys who finished, came home nineteenth. Ty Gibbs being the first of the guys who crashed, and all of these guys got involved in wrecks, especially Chase Elliott, Martin Truex, Austin Dillon, and Kyle Busch. All these guys are fan favorites. They, the season is still young. Anything can happen between now and race seven at Pocono, but uh, we're surely interested to see how the points fare up. So I hope you enjoyed today's race. Congratulations again to Austin Sindrick. The next race from Las Vegas Motor Speedway will be out in a couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this, today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. And also follow me on TikTok, at ArcticFox49. And until next time, stay safe. I'm ArcticFox, and I'll see you at the finish line. Stay frosty.